Recently, I uploaded a video going over why some people are choosing to leave GoPro for other camera companies, and it created a lot of discussion in the comments. Over the last few months, I've gotten a lot of questions asking what GoPro's plans are for the future. Will they just keep releasing hero cameras, or are they trying for something new? What features will we see on upcoming cameras? These are all really good questions, and it's pretty interesting to look at what the company is going to do next. Hey guys, it's Raymond here, and today we're going to be talking about the future of GoPro and what its next couple of cameras might look like. Now before we get into today's video, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe with notifications turned on so you never miss out on new videos. Early last year, Nick Woodman, GoPro CEO, said that they plan on expanding their product line from the traditional two cameras to four distinct camera lines. A lot of us expected GoPro to release the Max 2, Hero 11, a professional level camera, and a small session. Two of those cameras ended up coming out with the Hero 11 and Hero 11 Mini, but we didn't get to see the Max 2 or any professional level cameras. However, the quote did talk about releasing new product lines into 2023, so don't rule out the possibility of these cameras releasing soon. First of all, let's talk about the Hero cameras and their future. It's no secret that GoPro likes to release a new Hero model every year, typically in the month of September. So of course, you can expect the Hero 12 to come out in about 9 months. But will GoPro keep on releasing Hero cameras? For the time being, the answer is yes. Yes, they will. Hero cameras are the staple for the entire company. You don't even have to use any GoPro products to know what a Hero camera is. You can think of it like the iPhone for Apple. As long as there's a market for it, they're gonna keep on releasing more. It's a little too early to speculate about the Hero 12, but I'm hoping for some changes like 6K video and wireless charging. However, let's move on to some of the other camera lines. I do think at some point we will get the Max 2. The first GoPro Max, which is a 360 camera, was a big hit, but they haven't touched on this subject for a few years. There's been a lot of speculation about it, so eventually we will get a Max 2. I do also think that GoPro will release some kind of professional level camera. This would be something that blows the Hero cameras away. This would probably be a camera that costs upwards of $1,000, but I do think it's gonna happen. Nick Woodman talked a lot about going professional last year, so I think this is a guarantee to happen. I don't know when, it could possibly be in 2023, but sometime in the next few years, we will get one. The Hero 11 is already a really cinematic camera, so I'm interested to see what this would look like. I do think that GoPro at some point in the next two years will get into modular cameras. There was actually a leak last year that showcased some patents for GoPro, and one of the products listed was a modular camera. This would be a great way to fire back at DJI and their camera lines. So of course, this will be a must for GoPro. And I know you all see it, yes, there is a patent leak showing off a GoPro drone. Last year, the company released GoPro Bones, which are meant to be used on drones, but I don't know if we'll ever see an actual GoPro drone come back. I'm also holding out just a little bit of hope that one of these days, GoPro will release a strictly underwater-driven camera. As someone who spends a lot of time filming my dives, this camera would be to die for. But now that we've talked about some of GoPro's upcoming products, let's talk about which features they're focusing on moving forward. Resolution will always be critically important important to GoPro, but at some point the company will top out. I do think that 6K video is coming soon on a GoPro camera, and so do a lot of other people, but I don't think it'll go much farther than that. Instead, GoPro is going to try to emphasize getting the highest frame rates possible with the higher resolutions, while also having improvements on its sensors, video color, and things along those lines. There's also the possibility that GoPro switches to internal storage on future cameras, making an SD card not needed anymore. Depending on what you use, some SD cards can actually cause overheating in your camera. I think that everyone can agree that they can be pretty expensive, so this is actually a good thing. Something else the company is pushing is the GoPro subscription, so look for them to find ways to entice consumers to sign up for it. But that's about everything I know as of now about GoPro's future. Sometimes it's good to look at the company's past to help predict their future, which is why I feel so strongly about some of the topics in this video. But only time will tell what we get to see in the next few years. 
Alright guys, now make sure to let me know in the comment section down below what you think GoPro's plans are for the future and what possible cameras you're most excited for. But that is going to wrap up today's video, but before you go, make sure to smash that like button and most importantly subscribe with notifications turned on so you never miss out on awesome videos just like this one. I'm Raymond Tiller and I'll see you on the next video.